Okay, we'll start off by, does anybody have any questions about like this trend, this kind of level, this area, why this kind of dumped? Um, this was a pretty, pretty critical point this week. And uh, if anybody has any questions about it, that's, um, feel free to ask because uh, it was, it was pretty obvious what was happening. Oops, I need to rewind that there. It was pretty obvious what was happening. And then, you know, with this trend and everything in the way, it was, uh, yep, but quite, quite, uh, quite obvious, I guess I would say. You have the same kind of setup happening right now too. You have like a 15 minute origin. Then there's this move trying to break it very much like you uh, you did here yesterday. I'm not sure if people were uh, in, in chat there yesterday when uh, I was taking that trade and I posted some, some pictures of this trade in chat, but it's it's uh, very much the same thing right now that's happening. I believe it was the gaining of a 15 minute level that had been failing right here and it was the same kind of thing that led to the dump of the move so um yeah there, there's kind of this similarity that's been happening in the charts i don't want to call it a similarity it's, it's just kind of the way it always works there's this um kind of this flow that that the charts follow right like whenever you have a level that you just can't break it's it's more about identifying the polarity like right now 15 minute level has to gain in this move we can even just actually replay it a little bit further here We've got interior trend on the move, right? Like I, I'm going to talk about this actually. Will you guys, um, you guys and gals, ask questions if you have them? So you have interior polarity in the move, right? So you, you have your range trend. You have range trend 15 minute. Hourly is just kind of not really developed enough yet, right? Like maybe maybe if you keep going in this trade, you can develop an hourly, but like one, two, three, four, five, six candles, not not typically going to be enough here. Um, but you know, maybe maybe if you had something like okay, here is a four hour candle, and then with enough separation, you can create that. And, you know, you already have a trend here. So whether you had attached this to the hourly or the 15 minute, the 15 minute would have just been accurate. And then obviously, you know, you're in this trade and like, it becomes a pretty easy spot to see. Like you have a five minute that's continuously trying to hold, right? So you have to kind of build what's happening in the move in a, in a way. So like you don't have a 15 minute level yet. For all you know is you're kind of holding these 15 minute levels and laddering them, but but not really. But you know, right now would be like, okay, you're holding this five minute level. Let's go plus one. Because I noticed Jude asked about that plus one. Um, hopefully Jude, you're here right now. Or you had been asking about this. Uh, plus one scenario to the monthly rejection. So I'm just going to give some examples of this right now. Um, if there's time today, it was breaking the weekly backside rejection, not just a plus one scenario to the monthly rejection. Don't want to be too hung up on the plus one minus one, but it seems like a good example. I can take a look, but that's a really big time frame to, uh, it's a really big time frame to use. Um, yeah, so like plus one minus one here, Jude, it's, um, like it's a great scenario for developing moves, but if like we're, we're going to see an example of it here with a five to a 15, um, imagine trying to develop a weekly to a monthly, you know what I mean? It's just, it's it's such a big time break. What are you doing there, sitting for, for four or five months to, to look at one specific data point? Like, it's it's just a really, really, really big piece of information that maybe rather than looking at it in a way that you're saying, okay, could the weekly to the monthly be of any service here? Uh, well, that might be true, but like once you lose the the weekly trend, once you've already lost that weekly level, like that that that's a really far out data point to look at. Like I don't really know how that would help. If it is true or not, I just don't see how it would really be helpful in the moment or or to trade with. Knowing such a big like imagine a monthly candle and you're like oh plus the weekly plus this plus that like yeah I can I'm sh sure it can have some data and value to it, but you know we don't really use a monthly right now for for TA and Bitcoin. It's still too young of an asset. And then it would be really tough to justify like, oh, hey, we've got a monthly coming up if we lose this weekly. Like, uh, well, you could just focus on like a 15 minute interior trend instead. And you'd probably take like 10 times better of a trade off the same information. You know what I mean? So I, I don't really like getting caught up in those big time frames that people like that. I don't like doing that. That, that stuff is great in hindsight, but oh, it's just, it just doesn't really... It doesn't add too much value in the move, right? 
so yesterday's trade you're, you're holding this five minute great if you were to minus one this right so so imagine you have your your five minute here and it's trying to gain its 15 right here so it's trying to gain this we're gonna so we're gonna make the uh, level it's trying to gain that uh, dotted so you have a five minute level it's holding below this five minute level you're gonna have a three and a one well the three's already tested and that's already there so you can't use that but then you have like maybe a one that is kind of untested yeah okay that's not really untested that's kind of tested too and you have a trend right <clears throat> like you have trend so this is a scenario where you'd be looking at this and saying okay the minus one to this would be trend the plus one would be gaining this 15 right so let's kind of just walk through this here see what happens so if you were going to take this trade the minus one would be trend here yeah right there so that, that like that's your minus one and then it creates your next five minute candle so so now you can sit here and say like okay well our plus one would be the 15 so that would be super important to gain that and this can actually maybe move up and uh do an attack on some kind of origin level looks like what might be right here which is actually onset rejection off of this so you can actually just even reverse this here to here to here to here so you could actually even just take this right here um inverse reverse if, if you wanted i don't know how much i like that actually i like to see if there's like a breakout in this and, and there's not there's not Maybe there's like a three, but we're getting pretty thin here on expectations of a three minute candle here. Right here. I don't even like it. I honestly just like this. Uh, yeah. 15 minute test there. This goes here. So if this is testing here, which is this level here, then maybe you could be here. Maybe. I think this is a stretch though. I think maybe you're here. Then you're here. Then you're here. I think you need to look for a bigger time frame even. Backside five reverse five i think you're looking for this right here right so let's just move this one here let's move this back to here uh, bah, bah, bah. let's make this orange so yeah you get your minus one plus one scenario right there so then like gaining this 15 minute is like critical it is it is the polarity in the move like this is the trade that i had posted up i you know we had taken something nuke and both nuke and i had taken something something in a rocket i actually think i took this for for my trade to be fair i took this for my trade i didn't actually take trend i took the rebounds so so this is actually my target it gets hit and it holds and, and that's great but you know one of the the key things about this trade is that like it has to break over top of this 15 right like it has to take it has to take over like it, ha it has to get over this 15. so when it starts testing it you're gonna have kind of this set like the scenario that happens like you're gonna you, let's just for first off okay good we've established that it's trying to gain its level good you've got all sorts of stuff happening now you've got interior trend 15 to 15 you've got um you you can't like you you definitely what you cannot do here is start laddering this move like you cannot start laddering this move off of these things you, you cannot get into the scenario where i don't even care about the laddering of these levels to be honest with you i'm marking these i don't even really care about them what you can't do is you you can't on a 15 minute time frame continuously sit here and just refuse to get over top of this and up into the next part of the range because right now it's fighting to grab this 15 minute you, you what you can't do here is is constantly hit this level pull back reject pull back reject pull back reject because then it's going to be like one of these two candle dump scenarios so that's exactly what happened yesterday and i, I like i market closed my trade because i was like oh shit, this thing's gonna fall off the face of the earth now right because like okay fine you hit your level there and you want to see what happens at the 15 minute level, right? Like you don't really care about this other stuff, but what you do care about is this laddering. But what you can't have happen is this. And, and all of a sudden you create an inverse level here because this is going to dump the move. This, this will like always dump the move. This is why I, like I saw this, I literally slammed market exit flash close. Like I was like, nope, I know exactly what's going to happen. You're going to have like two candles and this thing's going to be below this trend. Um, it didn't quite happen like that, but th this is where I exited because I was like, okay, like, look, dude, we've got a 15 minute level. It's been sitting here. It's rejecting. This thing is close to dumping. So, you know, identifying that polarity in that moment was super important and it could have got a slightly better exit. But the fact of the matter is like you, you cannot see, you cannot see this where you have a level of polarity defining the move and you're constantly staying underneath it like that. It's, it's, it's you just can't do it. And this is going to lead to like a like a, a crazy dump really fast it's actually like a really good short to, to be had here and then that's exactly what happens i was actually even surprised this bounced the move to be fair i i'm actually surprised that even bounced the move i thought this was going to be like one of those one to two candle scenarios where it's just like bop bop 
It's like, okay. But I'm glad I market exited because I market exited right at the top. And I did, you know, sure, I could have got a limit exit a little higher, but for the few percentage I, in that scenario, I'm, I'm fine with taking the loss just because of how, you know, I don't want to say polarized, but because of how like fast this thing is going to break down. And then it does, you, you know, and then it does. It just kind of straight breaks down. Like there was this, this was that moment. So that, that was super important to, uh, to recognize that in, in, and it's the same thing that happened with trend up top. So like when we're, when we're taking trades, when we're dealing with trades, it's really important to know like what you have to get over and to see the early warning signs to get out because that, that, that's key. That's key. And that's going to save your ass in trading. 100% of the time that's gonna like you just allow you to lock up profits like I don't even know how much money I locked up on that I think it was like $900 or something um the top was like 11 or $1200 I, I locked up 900 I'm very happy with it um it was just a nice little scalp the point of it was to be the, the reason I took the trade was to say okay look maybe we're actually gonna pull back above the weekly level here like oh you know we're not really breaking this in a way that we should like we went down and we kind of developed a range close enough to it that this range could have rejected and if you went to the weekly time frame you would have been here and you would have been like oh it's just a, like a wick like this and you were like oh yeah of course and then it holds the move and then this thing skyrockets way the hell up here right like to 22 whatever so that was the point of taking this trade but the second you see that 15 minute like refusing to develop and gaining it, you have to get out because it's it's just about identifying that polarity right off of this because this was like already a really polarized move and then you're just, just dealing with like, oh, is it actually going to dump or not? It hits so accurately, some monthly level hits so accurately. Here, this. Um. Why well, have the four hour pegged? I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm not saying it's it's wrong. I'm just saying I have the four hour pegged with the combo inside of it. So I don't I don't I don't know how much I like like taking that monthly. But um yeah, I mean I, I suppose you can. I suppose you can. You can take any level you want. It's just, you know, what becomes safe and not safe is, you know. So so this was like critically important and we're seeing the same thing right now. Like you're seeing that it's trying to gain this move and it's pulling back. So like, if you once again ladder off of this, the, 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 like this move's gone, dude, it's so dead. And so like now you're like right here, right? Um, but really it's origin right now. Hourly hold level. I wouldn't even use the hourly hold here. I would use this origin. I would use this origin for sure. And then the five minute you can't use because obviously it's broken, but the 15 you can. So like right now, if you are doing like a plus one minus one scenario, you're going to walk through this on a live example. Okay. So the first thing I would do is I'd go here and I'd be like, okay, 15 minute is tested. Okay, so we can't really test that. So we can't really test. Okay. So there's not really like any 15 minute levels, right? Like this is tested. Could this be a reverse? Yes. But is it more likely it's laddering from here to here? This is your first thing that you need to find. Your first thing you need to find is like this interior ladder because this is kind of controlling the move, right? You test the move, distribution, distribution. Look at all the hourly, make sure they didn't miss anything. We didn't miss anything. That's fine. <clears throat> Let's find the hold levels. So you've got this. Um, you do have this that is above that interior piece. More importantly, you have this, which I like. I like this five minute level. I like this five minute level. Does anybody know why I like this five minute level? Look, why, why is this level so cool? Why is this such a good level? This is pretty important. So hopefully people get this. I fell. Loading level. No. Although it could be classified as a floating level, it's not why I'm using it. Next point to create trend and freestyle set to create the range trend. So time frame up can create a trend. But this is this is what I want to see. This this is what I want to see in this move. So I don't really want to take any longs until we establish this. And then if we hold this, then we can look to create a plus one or break the plus one. Because now now we've got something real to work with. Because now we've kind of stabilized long enough. We've tested one of our levels. I like this four hour. I don't think this is worth taking the long. So, so now we have to get into a point in this trade where we have to start analyzing, like what makes sense to take here, right? Like what's the next best, the, the next good trade to take? 
you're gonna wait all day for this twenty thousand twenty dollars yeah it's pretty pretty effing good level dude <laughs> pretty good level um yeah perfect range trend 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 creation and then you're gonna see if the 15 minute levels can hold you down because that's your minus one right your plus one would be the four hour so it's gonna take a while to to bring this move up right so create the create the hourly and then it's going to take a while because you're going to create the hourly you have to gain the plus four so, so you're at a bit of a you're you're working a bit against the hill here and this is kind of cool because this is where like the principle the like the the raw principle of like accumulation and distribution comes from first off let's do this here so if you had to plus one this move in theory you would be needing to enter accumulation right so now you can see what um event triggers the need for accumulation or where accumulation comes from so by hitting this we can create the hourly which will onset into accumulation which will allow us to have to see the plus one which is the four hour so if we need to see the four hour you can assume it could even take up to 12 hours you can have a blue candle then you could have to stabilize a blue candle and then get over the next one right? like that could be like a 12 hour setup but a 12 hour setup sure does starting sure is you know starting to sound like accumulation like this is an accumulation it's not enough candles like one two three four five six seven eight right but this well this is possibly a call for the creation of accumulation so now if we can create an hourly trend we have a plus one target which is really neat Any breakdown of this move. What was your question? I was looking to hold it a bit, but I ended up breaking down a lot. Which move is this? US 100 cash. CFD. So what, what were you trying to do? The name of the ticker actually like usdc or something usd cash what is it 100 i think it was i don't have a lead stamp do i like a 16 how firm is this looking at this here uh looking at a daily like okay so you have your hold level right you've gone into the four hour reverse below 12 8 43 so the four hour versus four hour reverse you took here so like this right something like this you got in what was the price 12 8 four hour reverse 12 8 something like this 836 for our verse I don't see 836 what am I missing this 836 is like down here So there's no four hour reverse here. This would be the reverse, unless you type the wrong number. So your question was that why is it breaking down? Uh, let's take a look. Well, I'm assuming it hit target. <clears throat> That's usually what happens. Do something like this. This is not going to be useful. Way too far out, anyways. We've got this here. Oh, yeah, there you go. Backside reverse. It's fine. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, immediately jump off a bridge to say this is like, oh, you have to get out here. But then maybe something more interior like this would be important here. Oops. More interior like this would be important here. I'm assuming this is like a. Inverse, inverse, not an origin. Break 
breaks over top of this wasn't an origin. It's backside daily, so like it hits its range. Then you'd wonder why it doesn't just like move straight up, right? Interior range moves below that, breaks its range. Oh, like that. I thought you got in earlier. Oh, I see. Let me, let me. So you're right here. Wait, where are you? Why does yours look so drastic? Am I on the right ticker? Yeah. Why does ours look so different? Because you have extended hours on? Does it change the way the chart looks like that? Ah, uh, God, I haven't done this in so long. Where is it? USD cash CFD. Yeah, that's exactly the same ticker. CFD global prime. What am I missing here? There's something about our charts that's different. Do you have the premium version of trading view or are you on the free version? Cause you might be missing after hours data. One, two. Cause you have like one low there, there one low, one, two, three candles. One, two, one, two, three, one, two. We have different data. Why does it look so different? There's something wrong here. You have an option selected or something is different between our charts. Until I know why our charts are different, this is kind of tough to answer, but I mean, the, the trade is kind of the same. Okay. So. I want to get back to Bitcoin soon, but I also want to do this. Four hour backside, right? Combos to like some kind of front side combination stuff here, right? That's fine. So backside, front side, and I'm, you, you know, untested level. So you, you do have a combination here to here. So that's fine. That holds. Let's just use a repair tool to walk through this. What is this? Regular trading hours? Oh, maybe. Yeah, I didn't have extended trading hours on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why, yeah. I was wondering that's why, but I, I didn't see the uh, option to take it. Okay, this is much better. Okay, now we can look at this. Okay, good. I didn't have, uh, I didn't have the uh, trading hours. I kind of had a feeling that's what it was, but I didn't realize they had it down there. Okay, that's fine. Inverse, daily, that's fine. Four hour combo, still the same. Um, so it actually does hit this here, right? Like that's, that's that same, that's the same level as just the body, but that's fine. I think there's that combo anyway here to here. So you hold the daily, you lose, you lose the daily backside. So it moves down. That's fine. We go after the weekly at this point it does lose the weekly right here. That's fine. It's all pretty straightforward so far. I think you just hit your, I think you just hit your range and it pulls back. Like it's, it's a pretty nasty pullback from here. Like that's, that's a lot of time to be sitting at a hold level. Like this is a huge amount of time, but that that's fine. That's not what you're asking, but just to say like the beginning of this move, like this is kind of obvious in a way, like you hit your daily, right? And again, that's has nothing to do with your trade here, but that's fine. You hit your daily. That's a really long time to hold the move. It does move down. So that's all fine. Um, you have backsides there, you have your four hour here. So it does hit a four hour inverse level and then just falls off the face of the earth. So you entered right here, right? I think that's where you entered. No, nothing you have to turn off or on for the BTC chart. So you entered right there. So you took your trade there and you took profits, but it broke down and you're wondering why. Okay. Is that. I think this is correct, right? Uh, I was looking to hold a bit, but I'm breaking down a lot. I took some profits, but but why did it drop that much? 
Uh, I think at this, I think at this point, you're looking at trend, right? I think you're looking at possibly something to do with trend. Like I would like to just start from obviously high time frame down is not going to matter too much. Like you do have this, which is you know ultimately a much larger trend in play. You've got this, which hasn't been hit yet. Like you've got you've got your trend structure, right? Like it's it's all there. Your your trend structure is going to be there. So you've got your local global legacy, all this stuff like that. This looks like a trend scenario. This looks like target hit trend scenario to me. It even hit the front. Yeah, it even hit both levels here on the daily. But is this a weekly also? No. So you're more like up here, but you can't really get to the weekly because of trend. So, so you do even hit kind of the uh, the whole level on the move, which is fine. And then you, the breakdown makes sense. Like this makes sense. You're hitting levels. You've got this here. You've got this here. You know, you're, you're trailing your whole levels. So this part of it totally makes sense. Um, floating level, range trend. So you probably have this, I'm assuming, on your chart. Let's take a look. Yes, you do, which is good. I believe that's the same trend. So that's good. Let's go to the four, because that's where we'll see it. I think it just hits, hits the level and fails its move. Honestly, like I think it just hits the level and fails its move. You would have kind of expected it to get back up into this higher range up here, but it just kind of looks like it hits its level and fails its move. Like, I'd have to spend more time on this chart to understand maybe if there's a deeper implication. In the monthly, go up, reject, it's fine. No origins, possibly right here, which gives you your hold level here. None of these hold levels are hit. Not even the backside is really hit. So no combos are hit. This isn't hit either. Like you've got a lot of untested stuff in here. Trend never gets reached. <laughs> trend is in the way. Like you lose, you lose this trend, but you wouldn't expect such a, you wouldn't expect such a nasty drop off, right? Like you wouldn't just expect some kind of just ridiculous drop off like that. But like it just, it hits its level and pulls back. It's just, man, what a pullback. That's a wicked rip. You, you would have expected at least to come kind of to some like daily backside here like this. You would have expected it to go here. I would have anyways. I don't I don't think you did anything necessarily wrong in this trade. Ali, I think the trade was good. What's the percentage like in this? 2.4. That's a lot for now. That's a lot. But you're expecting something much bigger, right? Like you take a small amount of profits. Yeah, this, this is kind of frustrating because... It does look like it's breaking up. It does look like it's moving up. So it, I can see how this is a bit of a frustrating move. You're like your 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 level hits perfectly here. It hits it as a reverse. Your reverse entry is great. You actually do start to establish the trail. So you would expect it to at least stop here, right? Or shield here. And it just hits target and just dumps. It's a frustrating move. Like all the everything checks out. Nice four hour reverse level that got hit. It was a smart logical trade because it's backed it's backed by the trend. Yeah, I like the trade. I think the reverse was a bit risky, but it worked out so good. Good on that. Um, it's kind of the, the last thing that could create that ladder point, right? It's still creating that trend because it is a daily distribution to distribute. Like you would expect here to use this as a range and to start like attacking between ranges. Like you would expect to at least go here off of this because this gets created on the daily, like your daily interior gets created. I think this is just kind of a frustrating move. I hate to chalk it up as that, but like obviously it hits its level perfectly. There, there's no surprise there. Like the level is hit, origin is created. Um, just that, that's a really frustrating rejection. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven candles. It's holding at this whole level. Interior trend breaking. It's a really, it's a really like crappy way to look at the trade, but I think it's just what happened. Interior trend gets created. Is there a daily there? Interior? I don't think a daily. I think it's too premature to use a daily. It, this is a really crappy way to chalk up this trade, but it's, it's really a blindsided kind of trade because everything is technically correct. You have the four hour reverse here. You got entry like to the dollar on the reverse. Like this is beautiful, right? Like, this is, it's risky because it's like constantly hitting, but it did create trend. So if there was, was to be an entry, it would be on the reverse. So like, this is a beautiful trade because there's there's a simplicity behind this where you create trend 
After that, you ladder trend, and then after that, you ladder the reverse, right? So there's a very beautiful simplicity behind this trade. Um, I just think it's unfortunate that you hit this level and this trend break was such a ridiculous spike down. I don't think you could have done anything different. I don't see a single spot in this trade where you could have made this error because honestly, then you just bounce this, right? You end up going creating... <laughs> Excuse me. You end up going creating some kind of interior trend or or even off of this, even off of this right here, right? Like even something like this, uh, you, you, you can even create this and at, at least it gives you something to work with. But yeah, you like flash crash off this inverse level, but the technicals are all there because <laughs> you, you actually hit target. It's just for it to crash this hard, it's blindsiding. I, th I think that's all I can say about this. It's, it's very blindsided. Like, I get it. Okay, fine. You lose trend. Um, it's just a really blindsided dump, to be fair. Mm, that's, yeah. Unfortunate, man. I mean, you lose trend, so you can expect, like, a, a move down, but... You, you would just expect it to hold something like in this range. Like, I'm I'm pretty sure there's like a lot of people who tried to take this and just got smoked. Uh, I don't know about a lot, but I'm, I'm sure there's some. Some people would, you know, try. Because that's the first thing my eye snapped to. It's like, okay, let's look at this, right? Like, let's, where's, where's polarity in the move? Well, polarity's already tested, to be fair. And so is this, so. This kind of is the origin, right? Is there anything on the floor? You can see there's something here. It's the hourly. Test that. Hold tested. Hold tested. Yeah, so, I mean, you've got... You, you don't really have any untested parts of the move, but I hate, I hate chalking up a trade to like, oh, you've got no untested parts. There's, you know gonna dump there's no untested levels left that's a really simple way to look at a trade that's a really simple way to look at charts because this could have just easily created a shield so could have this this could have created a shield this also could have created a shield off of the uh, origin test this deep dive it to some something like this even which i believe is that interior one hour the original one hour like yeah so even even here Create an origin off the deep dive of this, which they're close, but at least it can do it, right? Like just go here, create trend. This uh, this is just really shitty. Go here, create trend off this right here. Deep dive this, even combo to this. And it's not even that far away. It's reasonable. It's reasonable. What is this like, 0 0.2? Yeah, 0.2. Um, even even like this is reasonable to create trend here off of that combo touch that's that's a really that's a really let's just say it's a really spicy dump um i hate to not to be able to give you like an exact one-to-one -one answer it, it is pretty exact but i hate to just not give you something more insightful on this but i think the only thing i can say is that i like your trade i think it was smart the target was hit and it's kind of surprising that it didn't create anything off the back ending of some of this stuff right here but so be it. I think it was a great trade, but sometimes just shit hits the fan. Well, it's justified. The dump in the move is justified. It's justified. It's just really blindsided because I probably would not have caught this dump. Like, whoa, I would have stopped out somewhere like close to entry here. Because I would have just expected it to create something else and hold. That that's that's really unfortunate. You don't you don't often see this. Like usually in charts, it's not this blindsiding. But I mean, the technicals I'll check out. I just don't think I would have caught it. Like I'm trying to analyze this as if I was trading it. Could there have been something I would have done differently? Well, I mean, there's stuff I haven't shown. There's like one or two things in in this chart that I'd like to see that I haven't shown. But I don't want to get into that. Um, whether or not it would have allowed me to manage a trade better would be another story i don't think it would have as as myself if i was in this trade 
I think I would have gotten blindsided by this. I don't I don't see where I would unless my exit was here. But even then, you wanna you wanna see the target hit and then well Okay, so it's hit once. It comes back, it ladders, but it instantly dumps. Like you don't even have time to leave the trade because it ladders off this dump of this move. Right here, right? Create a create an origin here. Inverse here, like reverse that. Like maybe I would have taken profits there, but that's a really big stretch, man, because I also would have been on the other side playing devil's advocate saying, okay, but what if we actually don't create this as an origin and we just break straight over it and now we can look towards like trend. So fine, you create origin, you reverse the hourly, you dump, like that all checks out. That's not the problem. The problem is like, I don't think I would have managed to trade any differently. And maybe in the moment I would have got spooked because I would have seen, okay, hold the hourly here. This one's not tested. This one's not tested. But then I, again, I would have back ended it off of this. Hold this hourly, create origin, reverse, would I have exited? Probably not. I don't know, man. I don't think there's anything different you could have done. I don't think I would have traded any different. In, in the moment, maybe I would have had a different take on it, but every part of the technicals checks out. So I don't know if that's helpful or not, dude, but I wouldn't kill yourself over this one. This is this is pretty effing blindsiding. Really nice chart, though. Thanks for linking that. Breaking trail of, of uh, backside weakness. That that's really high meta to justify such an interior portion of the move. That's really like you're you're really looking for some bigger explanation in that point. Like it, it's really hard to say a trail of backside like weekly levels that take you know weeks and weeks and weeks to to happen versus like an hourly trail that's been created. You know, in the in the past twelve hours, like hold levels and break levels that get hit and trail up to uh, to a final target. Like it's it's really tough to kind of make that connection. I'm not saying it's not true. I just think it's a really really tough connection to make. Like uh, that that that's really comparing like two opposite ends, like weekly to hourly is, is is a big. Yeah, like combine them both and say a weekly is rejecting off of this and it's do happening right now inside the hourly. That's that's ballsy. That that's really bold. That's what you can say about that. If you're, if you know what I mean. Like I'm not saying it's not true, but that that's really bold to make that kind of presumption and and, and run your trading off of, off of that is really bold. Talking about analysis and saying like, oh yes, of course, that's one thing. But it's like imagine being in that trade in the moment and saying there's weekly backsides here, but this hourly is the one piece that's gonna break it. This hourly reverse that just got hit off of the potential creation of what could be an origin in the future. After stabilizing a move using a four hour trend, hitting a reverse level on the bottom side, after testing through four times, this one hourly will be the piece. Like, you know what I like? Hindsight trading, fine. You can put it all together and, and it will make sense and you can create the logic flow thereafter. But in the moment, if you're in that trade, to connect those two ends, like one, one side of a bridge to the next, to, to create a pathway, oof, you'd have to be ignoring everything else that could potentially happen on the chart. I think that's a that that's different, right? Like hindsight analysis versus in the moment trading. So I always try to kind of look at things like how am I trading in the moment? Like what am I what am I looking to do in that moment to take advantage of the trade? Like could I be like, what, could there have been anything different I would have done? Would I have taken that hourly exit reverse level? If I was really spooked and I wanted to take profits, yeah. Like we've all been there. Like I take big trades. I'm, I'm using like $10,000 on 100X sometimes. When I'm looking at $5,000 of profits in a few minutes, sometimes it's just like, I don't really care where this thing goes. I just want my money, <laughs> you know? So like maybe in the moments it might've been different because 2.4 on, uh, on a USD chart is like pretty crazy. The CFD, that's a fun chart, right? Like that, that's pretty great. 2.4 is a lot on a fun chart. So uh, maybe in the moment it would have been different, but sitting here saying this now, like I probably also would have been like greedier looking, looking for something big, bigger with, you know, the thought of this boom in my eyes. Well, I don't think it's just that shit happens like that. Like I wouldn't chalk it up to unexplainable. It's explainable. It's just extremely blindsiding. It happens very fast. Like, you know when I said I got out of this trade because I was scared of a one candle dump? Like, 
it's that type of thing where I where I got out of my trade market exited. It ended up being a great market exit. But there are those times where it's like something rejects and it's such a such an obvious move. Like it's such an obvious thing that's about to happen that it becomes like a one candlestick, like a one two. You could be like plus 80 percent. And then two minutes later, you're like negative 20 percent, like literally 120 seconds. And you're like, what the f just happened to me? So like it's it's not that stuff just happens like when you hit these polarized moments it, it it does move like that like you can find them on the chart everywhere like this this was a you know pretty pretty premium example of it too like i'm sure there's some like pretty crazy action here where you you know like like this here imagine like here would be a good example imagine being in this from like polarity here right or if there's like a three or a five or something so it's also a three minute here but that's not really the important piece so five minutes down here so that's not really important so you can't even really test the five anymore it's so like imagine being in this from here which you were like oh i'm gonna greedy combo it to the uh, origin creation right and then you've got your five minute origin there which is also this inverse so you're like okay we're gonna break up right uh, imagine being long from here and then all of a sudden you hit this level you're like oh okay origin got hit again you haven't lost this yet but if you do you're you're literally worried about this thing falling off a cliff because there's nothing left like imagine entering here and and the next entry spot is is like maybe right here maybe and more likely right here um just to create some kind of interior right like even like this so so you'd have to go here deep dive that create interior so here here's a scenario where that happens like imagine being in this trade right now and you got in here like what do you do okay i haven't lost a level yet but like we just laddered from here to here to here to here to here to here and it's like I haven't lost a level yet um you would be in this trade and you'd be like oh no problem dude you got a shield right here <laughs> yeah just kidding well bye <laughs> so it's blindsiding it's not that the technicals don't make sense it's not that it adds up look at that accuracy by the way holy crap dude not not bad <laughs> that's that's actually pretty good that's pretty good y y you see what i mean so there there are po polarized moments that like they need to break because it can be like a situation where you, you're feeling good about a trade like this this is a olden scenario well, that was a really good uh, example too, by the way. Well, that was pretty decent, pretty good accuracy on that one. You're up 75% and you're like, oh, we're about to break trend. All of a sudden, one candle, you're done. Like, yeah. like. So I wouldn't say that it's, oh, and look, it just even goes further. What is this, like a two candle move? Yeah, like two candles. Like you were here, you were up 70% and you're holding this level. Like imagine that. Imagine being here up 70% on a trade and but then grander scheme you just hit like a like a hyper polarized moment like extremely polarized back ended off the origin level testing and rejecting again laddering the move nothing left up 70% two candles later liquidated yeah that that's like a straight up liquidation that's like a double over liquidation if you're cross leveraged like 200% on your account it would have liquidated that too if you're a cross boy or cross trader or cross girl right like so i don't necessarily i just think it's blindsided on polarity at that point so i wouldn't it's all very explainable but in the moment trading is very different than after post analysis it's it, it's exactly why i exited my trade on the 15 minute level because i was i already know that this thing is fighting polarity like this uh this move right here i already know that we have this weekly move right here right i already know we're dumping it the thing that's running through my mind here, and I talked about this in open chat a bit yesterday, is I said, like, okay, what happens, though, if we're here and we start to get over top of this 15-minute level and back above this? This thing's going to catapult. This thing's all of a sudden going to use this as a backside because it's saying, like, okay, we broke the weekly level. We're holding underneath it. But if we can gain the interior component, which is this little piece right here, this will be the next backside level so so like mark it long as fast as you can because you're gonna blast up to here and you're gonna back test this because this is saying like weekly level we're we're about to dump like 
heart. And and this is like everything I talked about yesterday during during the stream. This is exactly the kind of the tone. And if this doesn't hold, it goes to the four hour. But really the smart trade is at the combo level, right? And so that's exactly why I exited my trade here because I saw the the 15 minute needed to break, right? Like you have to get above this minimum. You have to get above this. You are creating what could have been rejection of the weekly, but then also in the moment you, you have to exit that trade. Like, I'm not sure if anybody saw an open chat here. I, maybe uh, if somebody could grab a link to my screen snap from, or I could just relink it, I suppose. No, I can't. Someone, someone grab the, like the discord link in case anybody missed it in here, but I'm sure lots of people missed it. Cause it was just random open chat talk. So. Like when you see this level tested, instantly alarm bells are off. You're like, oh yes, let's go, let's go. We're, we're moving up. Okay, good, good. Okay, nice little pullback. And then now we can blast through. It's not an origin level yet, but what, now we can just blast through. It's not even a hold level. Like it's a hold level as we're trying to break, right? It's not even an origin level. Now we can just like, kind of like blast through this move. It's like, okay, okay. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Son of a... <laughs> no, dude, it's fine. <laughs> Oh, we can just get back to it pretty easily here. Um, you know, so this is the trade nuke was in it too. And, and this is the trade and it's like, oh, all of a sudden it's, it's rejecting its move. I market exited here. I literally market exited here. Like I, I got out at like 62 something. I think it was or 52 or 62. I think it was, I can't remember. No, no, it was like 48. I got out. I got out somewhere like right here. I got out somewhere. Here. I clicked market exit right here. As soon as I saw this start to turn blue, I like market exited out and it slammed me down to like here or something, w which was fine, which was fine. I don't really care. Yeah. So people can see, people can see that. And that's, you can click that and it links you to that. We were talking about it in chat yesterday, so you can kind of follow along, but like, I was just happy to take my profits because this is the scenario I was, yeah, the 15 minute not gaining because th this is it, right? Like this 15 minute can't gain this thing is going to slam down but you know sometimes it does blindside you like that happened in a one or two minute candle because it, it is pretty polarized right like okay fine i could have got a limit exit a few dollars higher but i honestly think if i was in this trade at this point i would have been like okay we're breaking up and then i would have been like okay that's fine we're back testing trend and i actually would have exited with less profits because I, I actually think i honestly think that at this point i would have like no problem, back testing trend as long as it doesn't lose this one minute inverse right here, like the rejection as creation. But then it did in like, like a massive way, like it just went down. And then maybe I would have tried to like limit exit here. I, maybe, did it get there? Oh, it did, okay, good. So I would have got limit exit, but that's fine. That's fine, it's all the same exit anyways. But that's why I, ju I just like, I was like, no, like there is no goddamn way I'm staying in this. It's, it's the same thing, right? So, but I think that's a really important lesson. Like I think what you're talking about is a lot of what we're talking about today there. Um, Olaf's. So blindside or not, you always have to, you, you have to be able to have the reality behind you. Like you, you can't, you can't just sit there and be like, Oh yeah, look at this trade. Like how would you have traded it in the moment? Cause that's what makes the difference out. That's what makes money or loses money. And, and like, I was in a great trade here and I made money on it and it dumped. Like that's the difference, right? Like that's where you have to be able to be like, okay, yes or no. Am I a good trader? Do I make money? Yes or no. And then, you know, yeah. That was a good exit when the 15 minute hard rejects like that. We just lost the weekly trend. Yeah, it's it's a it's a rip bozo. Exactly. It's it's ex that's exactly it. You're, you're playing this polarity and if it can hold and start gaining it, you're it's a risk worth taking because this trade all of a sudden your minimum is a 6% take here. Like I literally would have held this till this level here guaranteed. And then I would have saw what happened because rejecting this weekly level was the point difference of saying we are moving up way back into the next range. So this is like a 10% move. So like I had a decent amount of leverage on this. I think it was like three or four grand in the end. I think it was like four grand in the end. So if we move up here, it's like a $40,000 trade. So I take it because the RR on it is so huge, but then also being able to recognize that that is about to lose its move and break. Like you have to get out of your scalp, right? Like you've entered a scalp as something like, oh, okay, this move is constantly holding. It's like a really nice entry. Um, you know, look, you've created trend. You're holding trend again. This could end up to leading to the, the rejection of this weekly. It just creates it as an origin in the future. Perfect. We're going to move up in a big way. You reject a small little 15 minute. That's the same thing as like somebody else in the chat was saying, like, could you use the weekly? Oh yeah, Jude was asking, I think, can you use a weekly, weekly uh, or the monthly level? Like, sure here I was using the weekly level, just like you could have used the monthly level, but it's this stuff that makes my decision because this entered long. So if we did move up, 
could you have come back tomorrow into a mentorship session and been like, couldn't you have just used the weekly level? Well, for sure, that's what we were doing, but you can't use the weekly level to make that decision. You have to use the interior. So it's fine knowledge to have, but it doesn't, it doesn't garnish any trading decisions, but it can help aid your thinking process. So like that was the point behind this trade is that, oh, we have the weekly. It's like, if this holds and it moves up, that's an origin for the future. This thing is gone. This thing is going to move up like this is getting like nitrous fuel in it. But then it rejects the 15 minute interior. So if you're looking to exterior, you're just going to miss the, the point of the move where you just break down or move up. Like you already, I already nailed perfect exit on this. Every, a lot of people did. A lot of people got like Nuke got an even better exit than I did on this. But I took the rebuy, not the trend. I took the little one minute rebuy. Um, so, you know, like you already got perfect entry. So if you were analyzing this as, oh, the rejection of the weekly, where was perfect entry? And where was the spot that perfect entry became a failing trade? So those interior moments and those interior decisions, they have to be considered. It, it cannot be something where, you know, you're just using that overarching, like ultra meta and 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 like the, 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 the highest levels, the biggest time frames. It's fine. It's good. It's good. Use it. Think about it. Have it in your repertoire. But those those aren't like the in the moment decision makers. Okay, let me catch up on chat here for a minute. I, I hope this kind of analyzing helps. And we're, we're doing it now today with this too. So I think analyzing these trades in, in the moment and on the fly is like super, super valuable. We've been doing this like open Q&A slash trade analyzation. I think it's really good. Did the things you can't control example speed, which makes a market move. Yeah, but I don't like using that as the reason. I, I, I will never chalk up like a failed or winning trade due to speed. It just means I wasn't fast enough. You can say speed, but it just means that you're admitting that you weren't fast enough to see it because it's still there on the charts. It's just how, how fast is your processing, right? That helps. Looking at charts helps build more understanding. I think looking at Bitcoin's example really helps because it is, it is very much the exact same thing that happens polarized there. We got up at the same time because 15 minute was not gaining and then the weekly dumps it. No, it was a good exit. Yeah, exactly. Um, I literally immediately tried to get the short out to exit. Did not get one, unfortunately, but those one second dumps just happen and then you're liquidated. Yep. Ready to go. Yeah, see, I don't like this. Maybe this lower in the range, but I don't like that either. I don't like this either. I'm just saying it now. I think maybe if anything trend, but I would look to create the hourly off this. Okay. I am going to catch up on chat here. Reminds me of something you said a while back, something along the lines of the bigger time frame that is active. Wait, know the bigger time frame is that is active so that you know the implications of the outcomes of the inner time frames. Absolutely lag and deck. That's putting it perfectly. You're right. It's about how good you are at the science, not about finding the excuses from the outside. Yeah. Um, you know what I mean? 2018 is so juicy. It's I like 2018. What's the value of this level? If it bounces to here to here, it's just very, I, I like the implications of, I like the implications of this. It's a nice combo reverse is held up super high here it creates the hourly um it's off of the four like I, I just think it's an overall i think it's a great i think it's a great level here i gotta refresh my screen here. give me a second failing already right now uh if it continues to hold fine but I do like that it creates a hold level so high up. So if it does hold here, I do like that. I do like that it can back end, you know, bounce into this interior 
back ends off that moves up but i still don't think i would take it i just kind of like that development a little bit i'm constantly watching every single one minute candle like when i'm making these decisions my mind is changing like 10 times a minute uh that's figuratively not literally it's not actually changing that often but uh, like i'm sitting here and i'm thinking about all the potential ways that something can change i'm sitting here thinking oh okay cool oh okay, so we just tested this one minute Dream three candles are holding. So that means we could be creating like a three or five minute. Maybe we have like a five minute hold level right here that we're testing right now because it's kind of happened between the uh, time frame. So maybe there's like a five minute hold level. There's not, could hold this reverse. Uh, probably not too. Yeah, I could hold the reverse in the future. Uh, back testing the gain of the reverse right now. Maybe it needs to hold for three more minutes, which means if it does that, we could dump off of this uh, testing that. One minute test this level right here. Hold this down. That's not really tested. Um, like I'm constantly just analyzing every single thing that's happening in the trade, just just overthinking everything to death. I still don't like the level, but I am also looking for a reason to always enter a trade. Kind of just sitting here, but I don't I don't let that also influence me to be like, oh, I must enter a trade. But if there's something that comes up that looks good, like maybe if we hit this level again and reject, then the five minute creation could be there. And it's like, okay, well, trend, and now we're creating a five minute. I don't think we can create any 15s yet. No, we're just simply not there yet. It reversed this 15. So now I think maybe we need to like just hold here for a while. So then maybe I should start looking for a setup that this thing can just kind of constantly hold. That would be the setup where this thing just holds over and over and over and over and over. Yeah, kind of like this, right? Like just trying to gain this level, goes back, tests this, holds it. Yeah. So if this continues to hold, now I know that we tested a reverse pretty much perfectly right, right, just right now. If we hold for like seven or eight more minutes, yeah. So like in seven or eight minutes, if we're still here, I'll look to enter a trade for sure. Because now it's a reverse level that's that's creating a trail, right? Like I'm always looking for these things on the chart. You could just, just constantly. But that's a long time away, seven or eight minutes. A lot can happen in seven or eight minutes. I am by no means yet at a point where I'm ready to take this trade. That, that, that's foolish. Very, very foolish. But we're going to watch it for a minute, see how it unfolds, so we can talk about um, everything that's happening with this uh, trade. Goes again, testing this, can it hold? Creating a nice little uh, kind of interior thing here. Looks like it's not holding. I think this was the perfect test of that 15 minute reverse. I suppose you could pull up off of this. I suppose you could still create it. Let's see. I don't think so though. Reversing the one, okay. Still not worth anything here to me. I, I, I liked this, but that was that was last minute because it was here and now it's here. I suppose you could still create it. That was like I said, so one minute ago. I guess now you really want to look towards like 135. Create that. So what could create 135, which is this? Like what what brings you above this? Well, first off, time, because you still need a lot of time. Otherwise, your reverse level is going to be up here. And that just breaks the whole chain of ID, like the whole ideological chain. So maybe we need to create a five minute candle now and gain that five minute level inside. Because if we have a 15 minute reverse here, right? Like if we have this here, was there like same same kind of setup, right? Like kind of create the five minute first, right? And then you can kind of get over, back test it, and then move up. So that's also another setup to look for, like create the five minute, go way above it, back test it, reverse setup top. But I don't think you're gonna back test anymore at this point. Again though, that was so last minute, we're, we're on this minute now, right? So that, that's just always to be mindful of that because it's like, okay, well, you know. See what happens here. What is that word? <laughs> oh, nuke.
Okay, here's Trend. Oh, well, hope you didn't buy Trend. I said it before, I'm not really a big fan of Trend here. Old level can't hold, why would Trend? It's kind of the way it always is, and if a Trend can't hold, why would the level underneath it? So now what we're looking for is this level to create and stabilize. So do you take it as a first touch? I think you have to see how the development of this is. If this goes straight down, I like it as a first touch because then the, uh, the higher levels are way up here and you're not really going to get re-entry because you're going to be above the other levels. That's the first thing I'm going to say about this. If you kind of just move straight down, I like this as a first touch entry. Because the bounce is going to be wicked. And then you're going to be something like this. Like you're going to go straight down and the bounce is going to be something like this. And then re-entry is going to be somewhere around here. If you do this slow float, I would rather see closer to like whatever trend created that slow float like that. I'd rather see this break before thinking about getting that move. Or at least getting, you know, seeing the bounce and creating some kind of gap between the original touch and where the trend is. So some kind of like interior point where it's like, okay, it's testing a second time and then, and then it can kind of just constantly test through. So, so something like that, you know what I mean? This I don't like. Interior range trend, one minute hold. Bounce, hit this, hit that, have to break two levels. Although I don't know how much I love this range trend as a backside test, to be honest. But I, I definitely don't appreciate it being there, but it's not something I'm like, okay, well, here's the move. I think at this point now you have to start thinking about your plus one, because if you do hit this, you have to assume you are creating trends, so you have to start putting targets out here like this. Because these will be like your, your targets on the trade. Um, obviously, the four-hour inverse will be. You'll you'll see the hourly establish well before that. So this will be uh, kind of an important important moment here. Can attach to this inverse, which is also just this level, by the way. It's all the same. That create trend off of this. This is still in in play. This trend. It's it's not over yet. Wow. That can also create the hourly, which would be nasty. Don't really want to see that. Nothing can create the four though. Not until you're way the hell out there. We don't ever have a four hour interior range trend, which, you know, it's not a huge deal, but it also means that you could just stay here for a long time in order to create one. So we, we definitely want to get, you know, So the thing about creating the hourly trend here is it has to touch, reject, and move up. So it doesn't create it on the first test. test. Like you, you can't, don't, don't get too blindsided by that. If you do enter this trade, you're not going to hit it like this. And all of a sudden it's, it's just there. No, you have to like separate off of it, create an hour or two of separation. And then you can say like, okay, this trend is now active. Otherwise it's smaller time frames. Otherwise, all you're trying to do is stabilize your plus one on the five. So you come down to this level here, hits, holds. You need to start to create the hourly trend as a plus one on your 15. So you have to create like a 15 minute level here and gain that in order to start to create the, the plus one to the 15, which is actually just the creation of the hourly, which could end up being accumulation if you can gain a four hour target. So don't get too tunnel visioned on plus one here because really it's just a five minute level right now and everything else is everything else is just sitting in the wings waiting.
Come on, Bitcoin. Create the hourly. Hit the five. Well, you wouldn't create the hourly, like you said. Hit the five. Look to make the 15. Look to gain your first plus one. Your first plus one will be on the hold level. Those hold levels can, in theory, create the trend. The trend plus one will be looking at the... Um, this is something we haven't really talked about, but... The trend plus one will be possibly looking at the, uh, the trend plus one as well. So um, you have your target to target, right? Of course, we already know that. Like four hour this targets, four hour that. And then you have this here. So if you do create, uh, you might want to adapt this to the hourly actually. Just start. So you, like you always end up here, it doesn't matter. So you always end up there. So that won't matter. But before that happens, you're gonna be here. So if you do create the trend on the one hour, you will be looking to target the four hour if you're in succession. So plus ones as targets are important too. We're, we're not quite there yet in mentorship, but we will be. But it's always something to keep in mind, like plus one as targets. I'm trying to understand why this is something that happens. It makes sense. Because it's Pandora's box. It's exactly how Pandora's box works. You have a large target created on one side, offset by larger events. And then that target goes to its mirror image on the other side. And then they create smaller targets inside of them. Because obviously if you go from four to four, you can't create four to four to four to four at the same time frame. It has to be compressed in some way, either by time frame or by price. So that's when you get to Pandora's boxes, is when things target each other. So that's when you're in like your classic one-to-one -one Pandora's box situation. It very, makes it very easy to see targets. relevant to this architecture yeah that's that um pandora's box you have a four hour on top like in theory if you had four hour here and four hour there if this was a hold level right and this was a hold level there's these are just both hold levels and uh they're both four hours like four hold four hold if you targeted this you're gonna say like okay we target this but with that target if you're bouncing off from there, target to target on each side, you can't target this again. Like you literally cannot target it again. All you can do is either target the level it created, right? Which would be maybe, I don't know, a one hour. And then this would create the same one hour on the bottom, just giving you your Pandora's box, right? And if you went and deviated away from that, well, now you'd be looking at the break level for the for the hourly so you'd be breaking out of the pandora's box as to where this is laddering because it's never hit so if you hit this four hour up here again what you did is you actually created an origin here right uh org right there and then if you end up coming back here and laddering this right you can see your pandora's box is breaking so things that target each other on either side is your classic pandora's box scenario the abstract doodles help so much do they actually i'm not sure if they do but do you see what I mean about it's it's like targets target each other because they're in like your classic, classic Pandora's box setup. Oh damn, that was really close. It's not over yet, but I don't know how much I like this five minute anymore. It's a very close target. I think maybe at this minute you have to go a bit deeper. No, there is nothing deeper, is there? No, there is nothing deeper. Reverse one. Just be stupid greedy and go reverse one. Yeah. But you see what I mean about a Pandora's box? Because targets target each other because they're stuck inside of a Pandora's box. It's just identifying. You you may be like, oh, but the fours are targeting the fours. Well, that's because it's inside of the bigger daily Pandora's box up here. It's just about identifying like the overarching container, like the highest level container, and then understanding, okay, this the four hour is going to target the four hour next. And if it creates like, okay, for example, also, if this was to go here and it didn't do like what we first did in, in our first scenario, but it was to go here and it was to do like this, right? It's creating a four hour level. So then you would expect it to go here, right? Like that, you would expect it to kind of do that. So then 
you know, your Pandora's box would be this four hour level. And that doesn't mean it can't just drop to this one here. That's fine. You're still on a Pandora's box. It doesn't mean this has to have the same movement as this, but it just has to be the same, same level. And then this time it goes much shorter. That means, oh, we just created the one hour. Now instead, maybe you have like a one hour right here. Maybe this blue line on our chart is one hour. Then you'd be Pandora's box like this, right? It's just like kind of how the ranges play and get created. Oh, this thing is so close to getting hit. It actually did get hit. Just not on big, yeah. Damn, I moved my trade. That's so shitty. I moved my trade down to 20,000 too. I had the trade. At, uh, where did I have it here? I had it at 16. I had it right. Oh, I would have missed it anyways on Big Cat. No worries. I'm taking that off. Oopsies. I'm going to want to keep trading you up. Five minute hit. Let's see if it can create the hourly. You moved down to. Yeah. I moved down to. There's no way I was taking that that close. Uh, I wanted to reduce risk a bit. <clears throat> I would have missed it on, on Binance as well, so I'm not upset about it. I would have missed it on both exchanges because I would have moved it down to the reverse one. Not taking that kind of like low, like the higher risk there. I don't ever want to be in a trade negative. I'm okay. I'd rather miss the trade and just get the rebounds. I don't really care. I'm not taking the knife catch entry there. It's fine. Like I would have, it, you know, if it's reduced, but. Well, our accuracy is like effing spot on for this morning like no no qualms there <laughs> it's uh doing exactly what we said it would but now there's going to be a re-entry here so that's fine you also can't like stress out about not getting filled like i just missed like i said like close to four thousand dollars leverage on that trade how, how big was that for me hold on let me take a look yeah you can't stress it right like what was this one for me 16 bitcoin so if i nailed that trade I, if I exited right this second, right now, okay, hold on, right now, 30%, uh, that's $900 I just made in two minutes. Oh, well, just get the rebuy, I don't care. Or if it doesn't happen next trade, I don't care. It doesn't <laughs> really <don't> care. <laughs> you can never be sad about missing a trade. Be happy about your accuracy because you know the next trade's right around the corner. I just lost $900 in two minutes, like, <laughs> don't talk to me about like being sad on trades like you know what i mean it's just like it doesn't matter it literally doesn't matter <laughs> you know what i mean so it's just like be happy with the accuracy and just expose yourself to the right moves constantly because our accuracy is bang on look at this dude like we, we like once again dude, like, you nailed it perfectly man and back test trend exactly like what we said it would do i don't like the trend there stupid like even even our like forward prediction was right remember when we said we have trend here and now we have this stupid level there and it's gonna hit both and reject even that was accurate it's like you know what i mean you can't you can't be sad about missing trades you can only just be like the perfect chart scientist and then like move on because <laughs> because this is this is silly this this is set up we did and how much it's played out is silly literal, literal silly yeah you can't you can't be sad about it you just move on right you just next trade rebuy is gonna be juicy too just gotta get getter yeah <laughs> it's a good way to put it lagging I would have missed it on both exchanges, so I'm not upset about it. I like reducing risk at every single turn. I do think this is probably going to be moving up quite a bit, though, today. Oh, I don't want to say today. I make that sound like I'm, I'm calling out accumulation. That, that's not what I mean. I mean, I think this is a really good level, this five minute. I think it can continuously move up here. Reversing the one, time to get out. Question mark. End up back down at our original buy spot, twenty thousand even.
Uh, you still have a hold level here. You're good. You don't need to uh, get out yet. <coughs> Just gonna make an attempt to break because you do have that hold level in the way. <coughs> oh, is it gonna break or is it gonna is it gonna dump? Uh oh, uh oh. There's that polarity rejection that you're seeing it in the moment. Can it hold? Yeah, leave this untested. Hold right here. No, dude. Okay, bounce it now. I'm not in the trade. I'm just rooting for anybody who is. Now you got to bounce it. Uh, you can actually go to here on this trade. Looks like it's holding. Looks like the move's holding and about to go up. But we're going to see. Damn, dude, talk about a good call. Yeah, like it looks like it's about to move up. It looks like it's back. Gonna get a break up here. <sighs> Hopefully today's lesson helped people really understand polarity and trading in the moments and stuff like that. Uh, again, I think these kind of lessons like this are uh, pretty pretty um pretty critical just talking through trades walking through them yeah i think they're they're super critical so hopefully this has helped people the streams on YouTube also yeah I think it really helps about having both this is obviously a way deeper insight but um, yeah having both are all, all obviously very helpful for people a lot of people taking a lot of really crazy trades uh, this one included if anybody got in on it I'm not sure who did or not but I moved my trade down that five a bit and got filled noah stay in the trade man um there's no reason to exit yet great job dude there's literally no reason to exit this trade i just got too greedy i i there's no way i would have taken this level on after coming this close there's there's no way also, because the hold level is way the hell here, that makes it more attractive to take, but like... 10%? Uh, no. At that point, I'm looking down here at like... Wherever that other level is. I think it's like right here. Because you could also even target the 4 hour here. That's the thing. Like, what's wrong with hitting the 4 hour as a reverse also? The 5 is a nice bounce. Like, if it, if it works out, great. But there's nothing wrong with creating trend off this four hour too. So, you know, if I'm here and I have to go negative 30% before we move up, that really makes puts me in a tough position. But that does. If I was in this trade, I would I would so be in it right now, being like, oh yeah, let's go, man. I'm just I'm so ready for this. Because like I said, it looks like it's holding to move up. But we'll see. There's also a point where you have to exit here because it is just like, you know, it's gonna hit this again. Maybe it'll reverse this, but like, uh, like less likely. If this continues to hold it down, obviously you just get the hell out of your trade. Like you've got to pretty much break straight up here, I think. I think at this point you've got to break this level or get out of the trade. Like I think that's what is happening right here. People are putting like stacking limit exits there. Like some big whale is stacking a li limit exit here. So I think that's what you're going to see here. I think you're going to see this hit. And if it can't instantly break up, I think you've got to think about getting out of the trade. You can maybe give it one more candle. But if the next candle can't like make a clear break, a clear break up here i think you've got to get out and and more target this four hour because now you've got ladder 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 rejection hold level level to gain this has to break straight up like th this cannot linger here anymore i don't think 
Not for my comfort anyways. But if this doesn't break straight up, I would get out. <clears throat> The only thing that would cause me to stay is that you do have this as a shield. So if you kind of like create another shield here, something to like support you to breaking above this little interior piece here. Like it looks good. It's holding. It's actually holding. Yeah, this looks like it's going to break up. Oh, just kidding. It's not holding. It still, it still looks decent. I'm not going to lie. It still looks decent, but this, this is now tested. Like this is now tested. So now you have to break above this. In the five and two minutes. Yeah. But I don't like how there's still a target down here. Like, to be fair, I'm pretty sure, like, how much profits is that? I'm going to measure this quickly. This is, like, 40%. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I would be limit exiting right here. Like, forget the breakup. I'm pretty sure I'd be limit exiting right there. Might be a mistake, but I'm pretty sure I'd be limit exiting somewhere in here. But if not, this has to break straight up, I think. I don't really think you can uh, afford to continuously hold this level. Like, again, this is this is worrying when you just hang there right like that's worrying and it's not always easy to get a limit exit either sometimes you have to prematurely exit okay well you're you're squanched between two levels here like you're pff, literal squanched moment of silence for bitcoin jesus <laughs> it's fighting that's for sure it's fighting I don't like gaining the 5 too much because if you reject this there's nothing to really boost you over polarity like there's nothing really to boost you up if you you know, gain the 5 and then find you move up but I just like a clean break here just because we do have a target right there Again, though, this thing is holding, dude. It's it's doing good. It looks like like it's really trying to break its move here. You create a hold level right at the inverse. Like, that's crazy. And you're not even gaining this? Like, that's really good. Like I said, this looks like it's about to pop. There's only so much it can withstand before this is held long enough, though, that this thing gets crushed down. I think I still would have been out of the trade, to be fair. Like, even right now on limit, I think I still would have been out. If it moves up, it moves up, but I don't think I'd be willing to, uh... Holding a bit too long for my comfort, yeah. I don't like how this is just sitting here holding this one, this one. Like I, I do like how high in the range it's holding because it's not back testing anything like this, but that's not really what I'm concerned about. I'm concerned more about this holding the move down than it breaks to here. So the next kind of part of this trade then, I don't think I like this five, to be honest. I don't like the five because I think you've got target below. So the four hour reverse, right? Like, I guess we have to decide if this reverse is that, or this, no, it wasn't a reverse. This is not a reverse, that's just a clean level. So you just go. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's nothing below this floor. And it can possibly create the origin here. Right. Well, I suppose we should leave this here, but what does it create here? Which is the perfect target for the floor. It's only a five minute. It's not that big of a deal. Five, five. So I wonder if you can go down here then. Yeah, you're you're going here then. Good thing I looked at this. Because you can't create the origin on the other time frames as well anyways. If this could also create the 15, I would be using this, but it can't. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is this is the one. 19950. That's an easy peasy. Oh, I love it. I didn't even see that before. That's a great level. That's a great level to play. Five minute here? Don't worry about it. There's a deeper five minute. Oh, but there's a 15 minute. No, just kidding. There's no 15 minutes on either, which means there's no other origins. It's perfect. And it deep dives the floor, which can create the before as a ladder in the future. Yeah, it's, it's so good. And then it's like this, right? Then it's like this, and it has room to use the four hour in the future, even all the way out to here. So now you've got like a solid 12 hours of protection. Yeah, that's a great trick. I like that. I like it. I like it. It looks good. I just hope you don't go deeper and hit some, some of that, that crazy level down here. I hope the four is what stabilizes it because this is a really, really uh, smart spot. Uh, good exit, Noah, by the way. Nice little 30% lockup. Oh, now we go straight to here. Bounce, regain the four, use the four shield for the whole day. You've got like a solid 12 hours, dude. Solid 12 hours. This thing can create accumulation, which gives you your plus four. Oh yeah, this is such a good setup. This is such a good setup because then you create the hourly here. And then look, you're like all the way out here before you even come to that like point. Again, like minimum here, right? Minimum 1600, like you're good. You're really good. You can break trend, hold the four, create the four hour accumulation cycle. Uh, it looks good. I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. It's just how long is it gonna take to get there? Like all day. <laughs> I can't just like do this little thing here for the next 30, 40 minutes and then maybe it goes and tries to attack it. But th this is a cool level. I like, I like this 19, 950. I think it's a really cool level. And then you can create that plus one scenario that I, ta I talked about because you've got so many hours before that four hour can break. If you've got like 12 hours of protection, that's kind of perfect because that's, you know, going to be your 12 hours of, of, uh, did it just hit that reverse? Please don't tell me it did. It did, didn't it? Nope. Only the five still. Wait, is this supposed to be here as a reverse? Yeah, it's hitting that reverse right now, but the body is a little better, right? It's like, oh, it's fine. It's not a trade I'd take anymore anyways. Oh, no, don't pull up off the four. We had it. No. Oh, don't do it, dude. Oh, that's heartbreaking. That was our next trade. Oh, I would have missed. I would have missed that anyways, too, because it just didn't hit the level quite. I don't think that's enough. Yeah, OK, good. Oh no, dude, don't. Just just go to our level, please. Come on, Bitcoin. You see, but that's really like good foresight here because that's really important there. It's really important there. Okay, let's see. Is it gonna hit and uh, do the perfect time? I don't think it's hitting anymore. I think this is it. We'll see. How much time left in the candle? Eight seconds. Oh, but that's still good because getting out of this trade, that's really good. Oh. Bitcoin. 
Can you please just do what we ask? Uh... Uh, I don't like that. We have to open the reality now that your order would have to be moved down to some ladder point off of this. Somewhere between here and here so you can deep dive this, reject, create it for the future. It's too close now. And if you miss it again, you miss it again. But this is not what you want to see. You're too close to take this level now. I, 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 at least we're bang on again, dude. Like, no money lost. If you're in the trade, you made money. But you just missed this one. Oh, well. You know what I mean? Oh, well. I think you have to now start to think about more like down in here. Oh, thanks. We were right, dude. Once again, like perfect. Good. Nineteen fifty-seven on BitGet. You know what's funny, Nuke? I had that exact same level, and I took it off. See? You, you picked the exact same price I did, and I took it off, because now I'm going deeper. Oh, you did 570. Oh yeah, I did 57. I'm not filled. I wouldn't have been filled either. At this point, with this 4-hour holding, I think that was the move. Did you say 550? 957. Yeah, I had the same thing too. What? I, I wouldn't... 970. Order is there. That's the exact same price I had my order. That's hilarious, dude. I, ju I just don't think you're going to hit it. I, I don't think you're going to hit it. It's it's obviously hitting the four hour. But I had I had, I had the exact same price. Not 57. And then I moved it down to 25 because it was just like, well, yeah. <laughs> Literally the same price, dude. But I'm just removing it all now, I think. I don't think I want to take any of this anymore. Because it looks like the four hour is what's... The, the four hour reverse is already being tested. So now I'm not interested. I wanted it to blast through the four hour. I wanted it to just blast through the four hour and regain the four. I'm, I'm no longer taking this trade. I want to sit and see what it does now. Now I'm changing my mind again. Now I want to sit and see what it does. If I... Okay. My order was at 17. So if it goes down and hits 17, I'm... You win. You win. Trading. You win. All I can say. You win. I really do want to see it hit this origin, though. I do. I do. Because if you hold this four, that establishes it now. So you miss the trade, which it looks like you did. It, it held it three times. Like, that's really good. 9.35 now. Uh, you got to go lower than that. <laughs> you got to be down at, like, 20, my dude. 9.35. What a normie level. So mid. I'm just saying that word, by the way. I haven't said it in a week. Feels so wrong. <laughs> yeah, 9.35. Lol. Yeah, dude. And good luck in your new home. I heard the city comes and cleans it once a week and you get free Wi-Fi. Good luck with your 9.35 level. We would not consider the previous test of the 4-hour reverse as the test. At this point, I wouldn't see the 4-hour as a reverse anymore. Yeah, what's W reverse this 4-hour? This 4-hour was a clean and tested level, that's why. This is not a tested level. It's this one you're thinking of. This was a clean level and it got pushed through and then like it just got pushed through and now it can test again because this is not enough time for it to be tested. Maybe if it was out here, like this is just like if you start going to the, you know, minus one time frame on it even, it just, it's a straight wick through, right? And now you're like trying to do this. This is kind of the whole point of this morning and what could create accumulation on the plus one. I, 
I just think that the move is missed. I'm, I'm no longer taking any trades here. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I can still be convinced to take this, but... Oof. But man, like, it, it, can, it can just be so easy. Like, it doesn't need to be stressful like people think. It can be so easy. But I did four hours now. It's it's. I don't think it's in play anymore. But it doesn't matter if you miss this and it's not in play anymore. Like it doesn't matter. Um, you know the thing is. Yeah, I'm removing my order. I don't trust this four hour anymore. This is now tested. You you. And yeah, you could go down and come back over it, but I don't like it. It just the, the trade is missed. If you're in it, you're in it from here, and you're shielding up. I don't trust this not to dump anymore. It doesn't matter though, because you can use this to create the rebuy. So does it really matter if you're in from 981? Does it really matter, dude? Because you could just use it to, this to create the rebuy if you stabilize like five or a 15 minute level now. It doesn't matter. Or the trend in the future, it doesn't matter. It needs like a solid 12 hours of hanging around here to, <laughs> to, to, to stabilize. Let's put it this way. If you were in from 981, your target wouldn't be Valhalla. It would be somewhere in here. It would be somewhere, okay, break above this range, create accumulation, fall somewhere here. Dude. Dude. St seriously? Fifty-seven would have got filled. Oh, please don't, please don't move up now. I swear to God, I can't take this. I can't do it, my poor heart, dude. Please don't do it. <laughs> oh, don't do it, dude. I would so be out if I was in from here. I would be like, oh God, limit exit like right here. I would limit exit literally right here. I would be scared. I would be like sliding down right now. I'd be like this. Yeah, okay, oh no, please. Okay, now you have to slide up. I'd be right here. It's fighting. It's got to gain something quick, dude. Oh no. I would be so nervous right now if I was in from right here. I would be like, I don't know what to do. This thing could skyrocket or it could die. Like, <laughs> okay, it's kind of holding. Okay, can I get out break even? Could this? Okay, can this stabilize the move? Could this create the hourly? Can we get above the trend in this one minute candle? If we can, I can move up. Okay, uh, my order would be like right here. Okay, we're above. We're above. Okay, I can slide up. I need to get out of this trade. That's what I'd be thinking. Uh, it's actually looking okay. I can move it up here. Uh, my crosshair is where I would have my stop. You know, or, or sorry, my limit exit. This is such a nerve-wracking. This is why I hate being in from the incorrect levels. It's such a nerve-wracking move. Because now you're sitting here like, okay, what do I do? Okay, exit's here. It's kind of holding. It's kind of hype. This is kind of a good move. But we need to get back over this floor. Like, no, no distribution candles. Okay. Okay. Please don't reject. Let's move it up to here. Let's go here. Okay, we're, we're, we're in profits with our take. Come on, dude. Just do something with your life. Don't reject this, dude. Oh, come on, yes. Just clean. Straight up. Straight up and clean. Four hour reverse, dude. Come on. Straight up and clean. Okay, rejecting the current. Okay. Okay. We're still up here. Just clean now. Clean. Just straight through. Straight through the level. Yep. Mm, gotta move my stop away up here now. Or my, my target up here. Hey, we're in the clear. Huh. Stress mode off. But like, seriously, can you just like not? And I'm sure. I wonder if I knew you got filled. You got filled. You're so dumb, dude. <laughs> Good job, man. <laughs> I thought you are at 35, dude. Oh. I had 57 too. I had it and I took it off. You break my heart, Bitcoin, with all these like little indecisive, bull, stupid moves, man. And I would have been filled perfectly. And I would have been right here with like 3,500. I was using 16 Bitcoin on all these trades. <sighs> on to the next trade. Feels good to be right. Like, yeah. All right.
RIP. You had it and you took it off as well, confused. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude, and now it's creating a whole level. It hit the perfect target. We front ran it correctly. Ah. Oh. You see, it's all just a part of the game. Well, today's been a really fun stream at the end here. This is this is really cool to like look at how crazy we analyze this entire move. Like every single piece of this thing analyzed, dude. Like even steps ahead, multiple steps ahead the whole entire day. I really hope people can get a lot of value out of this and like how I'm doing this because like this today's lesson is like a, a picturesque example of how to manage a morning trading inside your brain. Like today was picturesque. There's there's nothing better I could have done on my analysis today. I, I could have gotten entry on the trades, but my analysis was like picturesque. Like you you could not have gotten it better. I was I don't know sharper than whatever sharp. But it's I really hope this helps people because it, it it should be a really good insight into like okay what are we doing with these moves? What are we thinking about? What are the actions that are happening even even right now with this little origin? This would be pretty important to gain. But although it could create like a interior range, it's not the right candle type to do it. So maybe this is more important. So yeah, I really hope people like paid attention today and took advantage of today because um like as you can see on the screen like literally every target was bounced to, to perfection. So. That's it for me, chat. I hope everybody here is making good money. I hope everybody has a, uh, a great trading day. Um, obviously.